lift to drag ratio. CL and CD can be plotted on a curve known as a polar curve, which shows the variation in CD as a function of CL. For every set of values, the angle of attack can also be plotted. Dividing CL by CD gives the lift to drag ratio. The best lift to drag ratio occurs at four to five degrees angle of attack. The best lift to drag ratio speed is achieved at VMD, the velocity for minimum drag. Important points on the CLCD polar curve. Point one is the speed for long range cruise in zero wind. Point two is the maximum range cruise speed for zero wind. Point three is the maximum lift to drag ratio and this corresponds to a tangent from the origin. Point four is the minimum rate of descent assuming zero thrust. And point five is CL max, the maximum amount of lift on the graph. If you twist the graph round you can see those same points but in a different orientation. Factors affecting the lift to drag ratio. Wing section. As wing thickness increases CL and CL max will increase but there is a limit. A really thick wing will have a reduced CL and CL max. As wing thickness increases, drag increases. A slim laminar section has a reduced CL max. Use of flaps or leading edge devices reduces the lift to drag ratio. A low span loading, i.e. higher aspect ratio, gives a high lift to drag ratio. Lower span loading means less lift induced drag. Methods used to reduce lift induced drag for example winglets, may also be good methods to increase the lift to drag ratio. A heavy aircraft requires more lift. Span loading increases, hence lift induced drag increases. To flight the optimum angle of attack, the speed must be increased. Factors affecting the lift to drag ratio. Wing plan form and sweep angle. A swept wing produces less lift than a constant cord wing, therefore having less lift induced drag. At a given angle of attack a swept wing creates more drag than a straight wing and a delta wing even more.